Welcome to my channel. This is Mbos Kitchen. Today we are going to cook some fish curry. And before I proceed, if this is your first time to watch my video, please make sure you press on the subscribe button, give a thumbs up to this video and share it with your friends. Uh, so I'll show you the ingredients that we're going to use. Uh, one thing that I've come to learn is that if you want your fish to have a good aroma, it's good to blend your ingredients. And that's exactly what you're going to do. So uh, uh, what we have here is we have the onions, we have the green pepper, we have the tomato, we have our ginger here, and we have our garlic. Uh, we have a coriander or best known as dania. Um, these are my spices. Uh, here we have the roiko, we have the curry powder, this is paprika, and we have the fish masala, and this is my tomato paste. Then our lovely fish is here. Yeah, so uh, we'll go ahead and we'll, uh, we'll blend. So as you can see, our blender is ready. So I'm just going to put all the ingredients inside the blender. So I put my onions, the green pepper, our garlic, the ginger, and the tomatoes. Or tomatoes, it depends with the way you, you pronounce it. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and cover it. Then I'll blend for a few minutes until it's ready. So our mixture is ready. Now it's we are ready to cook. So let's go ahead and cook our fish. So now uh, I'll put my vegetable oil on the pan. Then put in the mixture that we've already blended the ingredients. Because we already blended the ingredients. So we'll just put that inside there. Yeah, so we'll give it and side uh, the secret to having your fish uh, having that nice aroma is blending your ingredients yeah so at this point I'll go ahead and uh, add all my spices Uh, the good thing about these spices now, it will make the fish to have, it will even uh, make the aroma and the taste, it will take it to another level. You see, just stir it. Just stir it, stir it. Make sure that your ingredients blend well. As you can see, the tomato paste was still not blended well, so I'll keep on stirring it. And you can see the soup looks very delicious. Yeah, it's very delicious. If you see, like, the mixture is very thick you're allowed to add a little bit of water so that you just make sure your tomato paste 
blends in very well. Just a little water so that we don't interfere with the ingredients that we've already put in place. So right now I'll go ahead and uh, add some salt, some salt to taste. And put two spoons. Then now I'll dip in the fish. So what you do, you try to bring the mixture top of the fish. But to make sure that all the spices goes into the fish. So our soup is already boiling. Right now I can go ahead and put in our dania. Yeah you know, so that it gives it gives it that color. The dania. Mix it well inside the soup. And also just make sure you continue adding the soup on top of this fish. So that it cooks well. So we we'll let it boil for a few minutes until it's ready. Let it boil. So now uh, I'm checking on my fish just to make sure that it is okay. You can go ahead and even taste just to confirm that the salt is enough. And yes, my salt is enough and it's very tasty. As you can see, the fish already has its own color, it's very colorful. The aroma is so great and so wonderful. Uh, so now that I can see that my fish is well cooked, it's now ready to serve. So I'll go ahead and serve it. Now my fish is ready. I need to serve it. I need to serve it. Yeah, as you can see, it looks very delicious. And I promise you that it looks very delicious. So you can even add soup inside there. So uh, uh, now our fish is ready. You see the way it looks very delicious. And I promise you, it's very delicious. Yeah, so this is ready to serve. This is our fish masala. Uh, you can eat it with ugali, our local food here. So go ahead and try the recipe. Uh, remember to give my video a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe, share it with your friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.